G'day guys, how you going? Got a few watching now. <coughs> um, well, Merry Christmas uh, to those that are watching. Christmas time definitely has to be prawns on the table. And um, I'm gonna start, uh, g'day Rob, how you going mate? So I'm gonna start uh, Christmas off um, with a heap of prawn recipes. Um, pretty much everything prawns, everything shrimp. There you go. <clears throat> so I've got, I had about uh, probably 200 grams of prawns. <coughs> oh mate, all right. You're not, getting, you're not getting any, bud. <clears throat> Poor little bastard. So, uh, good day, Daz. How you going, mate? Mark's watching as well. Good day, Mark. Merry Christmas, mate. All the best. Um, so I had some prawns here, <clears throat> and as you'll notice, I'm just, I'm shelling them into. Uh, a pot and um, I'm going to use that pot for a stock or a laksa so I want to um, I definitely want to use it like don't waste any of this it's really good so even the head's got heaps of meat in it all the flavors in the head along with the shit but that's all right um, sometimes you um, sometimes when you take your heads off and stuff um, you might miss a few. Uh, a fair bit of flesh goes in it as well. So I really, I don't want to waste anything. Right, yeah, that's a hard task out of the way. Let me, um, let me just get up here. <laughs> g'day guys, Merry Christmas. Hey, g'day mate, how are ya? Steve's watching, g'day Steve. Yeah, the old um, skull island prawns. Obviously, I don't catch skull island prawns, but they're big prawns. Um, I'd love to have a crack at you. Um, I'd love to have a crack at cooking them with you, mate. So uh, maybe we can barbecue them again. Um, <clears throat> I don't know, and do a live on it from the barbecue. So I'll go back to what I'm doing here and get my ugly melon out of the way. How's that? Good day, Annette. How are you? Um, so I've got, my neighbour gave me some um, onions, so what I'm going to do, um, just top and tail the onions, I won't put that one in, that can go in the bin, I'll just quarter that, they can go on the stock as well, let's get rid of that bit, straight in the stock, all this is going to get um, run through a sieve. Um, nice white little onions too. So what I'll do, I'll peel that and just peel that one. Clean your board. Hold on. There you go. Um, some shallots. So I don't want to overpower it with the onion because it's going to have a lot of garlic in it. Um, sorry, that in there. So I don't want to go too heavy on the onion. So some nice uh, shallots. Just a mild of flavour in a brown onion. Throw them in there as well. Just peel that straight in there. And a lot of people have, oh yeah, we'll throw that out, but don't throw it out. That is going to make an awesome little stock. Uh, you can use that stock for a prawn soup, a prawn laksa, um, a base for a prawn curry. The stock can be, you could use it for anything. That's a good thing about it. All right, so let's get that on the heat. There you go, so stocks, you wanna um, cook them nice and slow over a long period of time. And, um, and let it simmer all down, get all that flavor out of it as well. Let's not go too, as I said, we're not going to go too heavy on the onion, so I'm going to kind of chop these fairly thin and they'll re reduce down a fair bit. Let me have a look at some comments. Good day, Kai, how you doing, mate? Patrick's watching, good day, bud. Ah, oh, all the way from England, that's awesome, man. That is fucking so cool. Uh, I'm yeah, I'm based in Perth, WA, Patrick, yeah. So, um, 
sunny, I think it was 30, sunny 38 today, 38 degrees, nice and warm one. And um, as I said, it's typical, typical Christmas time weather. Let's get rid of that bit of skin. Okay, I'm gonna flip this up here and try and keep up, guys. Uh, I know it's a bit hard sometimes. I run around like a mad ass. <coughs> so it's... Well, yeah, the pan's on. No, I don't want that one. Don't want that one. Don't want that one. Flip that. Flip that over there, get it out of the way. <coughs> this pan's on. A little bit of a tiniest bit of oil in that pan. And I want that pan to come up really hot. That's the good thing about it, okay? Now for garlic butter, so or garlic prawns, um, that's just butter that's softened. Um, I've had smoked garlic, if you've been following the page, so I'll, I'll put um, some garlic in the smoker. Then I'll put it in a blender, in a glass bowl, blended that, because um, it was all soft, the garlic becomes soft and nice smoky flavor to it. <coughs> I threw that into um, the blender, give it a blend, mix the butter with it, and then just put it into a salami case, tie it up at the end, and you'll see the results now. You leave that in the fridge. So the, the smoke um, pretty much preserves the garlic a little bit. And we're just gonna cut, there you go, you can see that now. So all you do is, if you want some butter, if you want it even on a steak, you're cooking a steak, and once you've cooked the steak, <coughs> Just drop that on top of it, that melts. Uh, when you serve it up, it's all melted, the garlic's melted all over the top of the steak. Absolutely beautiful, easy way to do it. So I want a fair bit of um, garlic in there, garlic butter, right? So this is pretty, there'd be two tablespoons, maybe three tablespoons of um, garlic butter there. And simply, as, you, as you're doing it, simple as you have to do really is just glad wrap it, throw it back in the fridge or you can freeze it, throw it in the freezer and just freeze it and when you want it and it's, it's perfect, there you go and that's all I do um, for use, making garlic prawns or, or that sort of thing Rightio, so we've got our garlic, got the onions chopped up, the heat's on all you have to do is remove that salami skin like that Simple well, you'd think it was fucking simple until I turned up. There you go. Right, so as I said, um, a little tiny bit of oil went into the pan. And I can hear it's hot. It just sizzled a little bit. I want to throw these onions in. You hear that sizzle going on? I'll take the board over actually and get rid of the rest of those onions. Garlic butter straight on top of it. Done. Now get a couple more ingredients out of the fridge. There we go. So as you can see there, there's my brawn meat, all shelled ready to go. Easy. Into that stock as well, I'm going to add um, some chilli paste and I'll just add a little bit of um, simple citrus which is a citrusy flavour and um, it's also got a bit of salt and pepper blended into it so that'll... About a teaspoon of stock and I want about two teaspoons of chilli paste. Right, yeah. I'll give those, um, as you can see, just sauteing those onions, just caramelising them a little bit. Don't have to um, overdo it because the prawns are going to go in now. Try and keep it hot, you can hear the sizzle. Right, yeah, follow me, guys. G'day, Dave, how are you, mate? How's things? Matt's watching, g'day, Matt. 
Uh, good day, Brenton. How you doing, mate? Uh, where am I going to put you without catching fire to you? I'd hate to burn anyone. It's a crazy show. <clears throat> okay, let's flip it around. There you go. There's the view. So prawns, straight in. That could really be a little bit hotter, but that garlic is starting to burn, so or it's starting to brown off, and I didn't really want it to brown, I just want it to soften. As you can see, the, the butter's melting, uh, the onion, sorry, is starting to brown. So the butter's melting, that garlic's still there. Oh man. But as you can see, the prawns are already changing colour, the heat's into it. And I'm going to throw a tiny little bit more oil into that because that'll stop your um, that stops your butter from burning. And obviously the butter's got the garlic in it. Oh, it smells amazing! So give it a good mix around. As you can see, there's the um, there's the stock. I'm not wasting anything with that. Give that a stir around too, mix all those flavours around. I've got that chilli paste floating around in there as well. And um, prawn heads, the whole lot, the onion. And you can add any vegetables, if you add any other vegetables in there, you can throw them in there in a bigger... Brad, good day mate, how are you? Good day Adam, how's things man? There we go. Radio. It's getting there with not enough heat, but it is getting there. It's cooking. Mix them around. Keep working that pan. Radio. Now I'm just going to glaze it. Just going to de what I'm going to do deglaze that pan a little bit with some white wine, but I'll throw a bit of um, just a bit of barbecue seasoning citrus mix on top of that. So that's got a bit of salt in it, a bit of pepper as well, a little citrus flavour on it. So that's just spice. As I said, keep mixing them around. You can see that onion um, is starting to starting to brown up. And that's a good indication that it's time to deglaze the pan a bit. So I want probably half a cup, quarter of a cup white wine. And um, just to make sure the wine's good, I'm fucking not too sure. Could I don't want to poison Arnie Beryl or anything, but... Ugh, that's fucking disgusting. But, um, yeah, it's good enough for cooking. Ugh. Rightio. It's got to fucking wash me mouth out, sorry, God. I can't, um, I can't understand, I can't believe the fucking weird people that drink that shit. Anyway. As you can see, come along good. You can't see, you're just fucking looking at me. G'day Brad, how are you mate? <laughs> Brad, sweet baby shrimp. It is mate, that's um, that's a bit of a fucking um, technical recipe, that one, eh? That's in my book. G'day Holly, how are you? <laughs> Wine tastes like shit. God, it tastes like piss really, but anyway. Um, yeah, as you can see, look at that, it's starting to thicken up. That wine is starting to thicken a little bit. And now, what we're going to do, you can have that if you weren't a real fucking cream lover, you could actually have it like that. It's garlic prawns. Quite nice. But I'm just going to tip a bit of... A bit of cream in it. And I should have. Give it a bit of a fucking shake. Just move that full cream, oh, you want to 
That's better. That's better. The fucking oil in there. Beautiful. Right. Mix around. So that's been about, um, I reckon it's been about five minutes now. You can see they're all, the um, prawns have changed colour. And I'm just going to spread them out like that. And back over here we go. You want a few little herbs and shit in it. <clears throat> Make it actually look like you care about people. So um, what I do, is a little bit of uh, chives. Something mild, you know what? You don't go throwing, well you can put a bit of parsley on it if you really wanted to. Don't throw them out, throw them in the stock as well. Any off cuts of chives. Um, so as I said, nice and fine, nice and thin. Don't look at that, beautiful. I'm going to throw that on top of the sauce. Okay, back we go. I've worked this out. Just, uh, it's a matter of just following me around. Rightio, back to it. Done. So there we have. Move it around a bit. And as you can see, that cream thickened up. Beautiful. Beautiful. It's not like a nice gravy on it. Done. Just to make sure I want to taste this sauce, make sure it's actually 100%. Oh man. That's fucking superb. That is really, really good. There you go. Alright. So what I'm going to do now, I'll just plate it up. How's that? So right, back over here again, guys. Done. Straight onto the board. Easy. Get rid of that. Let me clear a bit of this shit up. You don't want an untidy kitchen. We've all got some comments on there. Dave, good day, mate. How are you? Oh. <laughs> Come over to sample, no problem, mate. Easy. Good day, Jace. How are you, mate? Merry Christmas, Steve. Bro. Um, hold on. Pour me beer. Yeah, those that have just tuned in, Merry Christmas, all the best. Right about now. Right about now, those garlic prawns are fucking ready. So I'm just doing a simple. This is pretty much one person feed, but you just got to uh, add more to it. Obviously add more to it and um, for Christmas. And I'm just going to flip this so I can see what I'm doing. Sorry guys. You want to get all that sauce, that creamy sauce straight over the top of the prawns as well, that garlic. Over the top, don't fuck around with it. Look at that. Fuck. That bit there, to wash it in your stock. That's got all that garlic on it, that butter. Righty i I'll just put that down there on the side. A little bit of herbs on here. And the remaining Chives. Nice and thin. Done. I'm just going to throw them in the stock as well. Don't waste anything. Straight over the top, look at that. Not too much, you don't want to over chive it, you want to taste that garlic. Fuck yeah. So the white wine, the cream, the garlic. You 
this done. That looks a bit shit. So there we have it guys. First off the bat, garlic prawns uh, for the Prawn Chronicles from Hunt Cats Cook. Hope you enjoyed it. Uh, let me take you for a closer view. It's fucking nice man, they look absolutely mint. Uh, how do I turn this around? I turn it around like this. So there we go, that's it. Get a fucking load of that. Beautiful. All right guys, thanks very much for watching. Um, and keep watching, hope everyone has a Merry Christmas. Um, I'm gonna tuck into these. Uh, that was my kind of sample for what's going on tomorrow. It's gonna be pretty flat out. Uh, the big fat bass is coming. Oh, no, it's not me, but uh, the guy with a beard. And um, cheers for watching everyone. I'll take a photo, I'll put this up on my page anyway. So, um, any questions, give us a yell. Okay, Ross, how, Ross, how are you, mate? <coughs> oh, crap, I'm late. Yeah, don't worry, I haven't eaten them yet. Awesome, guys, thanks very much. Uh, enjoy it. And uh, once again, have a Merry Christmas.